scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. There are four dimensions to love that you must never forget. This for somebody may be the word for you. Whenever you say you love someone, whenever you talk about the expressions of love, when you break love, there are four components that make love. Number one is passion. There cannot be love, true love, when there is no passion. Passion. When you love someone, there must be passion. Extreme, unashamed passion. Number two, commitment. Even when your passion fails, commitment should not fail. Commitment. You have entered a covenant with yourself to remain faithful and to remain vulnerable regardless of your emotions. That's commitment. Commitment has nothing to do with desire. It has everything to do with a vow. A vow for continuity. You may not guarantee that you will be passionate at the same level at all times but a covenant keeps you committed are we together number three sacrifice the third description of love is sacrifice there cannot be love without sacrifice Those in love know that one of the things love does to you is it makes you a fool. <laughs> if you don't become a fool loving properly, then that sacrifice, it will sting your ego, it will sting your reputation. But that's the price you have to pay for genuine love. And the last key is pleasure. Love is not all about pain. If your love is all about pain, check it again. Love cannot be all about pain. So the Bible says, he daily loads us with benefits. I want you to check these four things against your Christian work. If all you have received in your life is sacrifice and pain, you have a right to demand the other dimensions and say, Lord, I can't suffer forever. There's got to be a morning after seasons of night. So there are times when we enjoy His power there are times when the joy of the Lord fills our heart. There are times when we will have to cry all on account of our love for Him. There are times when we will have to seek Him regardless of our emotional feeling. Let me tell you something. When you pursue God emotionally, you will be in for a shock. Because there are times uh, that life may not give you the best expression to love God emotionally. Are we together? So you've got to say, Lord, I am crying. In the midst of disappointment, in the midst of all of these things, I cannot say I'm passionate about you tonight, but I'm committed. Are we together? That's the heart and the spirit of a lover. I love you. I can never ever do without you 
I love you, Lord. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. How I love to worship you. And how I love to stand for you. It's my song to him. And even though it hurts me for every step I take. And even though it pains me for every move I make. But I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Yes, I love you. I love you. And there are blessings that the Bible says are for lovers. Not just prayer warriors. It says no eye has seen. Have you read that in your Bible? No ear has heard. Neither has it come into the heart of any man. What God has in store. Not for them that shout I love you, I love you. Them mean it. Those who are serious addicts of God. May that happen to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Now very quickly. Before. We hear what the Lord has for us tonight. I'm holding in my hand a, a catalog of all koinonia messages right from 2011. And um, I just felt in my spirit to guide us for a minute or two on how to maximize the benefits of these teachings. Every single one of these teachings are powerful, revelatory, and will bless us. But only if we know how to take advantage of them. There are very few people here who can boast of having heard all of them and having listened to them again. Say Amen. There are so many messages. In fact, while I was going through the list, um, I was in awe myself because I can't begin to imagine that all these teachings touching different areas from family life, spiritual growth, prayer, faith, our victory in Christ, passion for glory, the counsel of God, the kingdom, the Holy Spirit, you know, podcasts and so on and so forth, teaching on persecutions, um, the world system prophecies um, you know the body of Christ and so on and so forth the Holy Spirit you can I mean did you know that you can just pick these teachings literally even if you never had an encounter with a man of God you can pick these teachings and stay with them and you will encounter God in very solid ways you heard the testimony of that gentleman our brother about to commit suicide, frustrated in his life, and just one message, walking in purpose. See, the, the unique thing about these messages is, aside from the thoughts, the unique dimensions of the teachings, there is an anointing upon the messages that will achieve the same results regardless of what is being talked about. So you can be listening to a teaching on relationship. Are we together? And you find out that you are healed. The anointing doesn't care that is relationship. The moment your faith is released and there is an infirmity in your body, the anointing was designed to reproduce the Garden of Eden in your life. So whilst your mind is receiving information uh, as regards finances and whatever it is, the Holy Ghost will not see a sick body and pass. No. For as long as your faith is alive. Are we together now? That's the kind of miracle that happened to our brother. So I want to challenge you. You see, if you want to um, receive 
this teaching, you have to create, first and foremost, have a compendium of this. I believe that the media department can and should make this available. Please, media, make this available to as many people who want to have this copy. Number two is to, if you can, group them on your system or your phone or whatever it is. Create a way of grouping these teachings according to the central thoughts that they communicate. You can group them, maybe the economic system of the kingdom, financial dominion, and the wealthy place, you know, you can group them. So that when you are trusting God to rise in the area of finances, you will not be studying um, on intimacy with the Holy Spirit. As important as that is, it may not achieve that result. Are we together now? You will be blessed, but you have to break these messages in such a way that they serve their purpose as when needed. So that even when you are giving the messages to people, you are blessing people. If they want everything, you can give them. But there are times when, for instance, someone is telling you, I used to be a pastor, I used to be on fire for God, but right now I'm smoking, I'm drinking, I'm not serious with God. Now, giving that person um, a message on... Um, Maybe a miracle service. It may help the person, but it may not really help the person so much. You will want to give that person a message like the principle of renewal. Are we together? Or why revivals die. Or gaining spiritual stature. That way you will minister more strategically to the person. So every one of us should have this. I'm, I'm sure that the media will have this. And you should have this so that you can go through the teachings don't just listen to what is available. There are so many teachings designed to guide us. I mean, I can begin to talk about, we have the eternal counsel of God, the multidimensional workings of the word, um, creative power of the spoken word, our victory in Christ, redeeming the time, be like him, um, kingdom advancement, kingdom economics, one to three, you know, several other teachings, the apostate church, fasting and prayer, the full gospel, evidence of genuine intimacy, um, prophetic insight to God's agenda, the prize for an extraordinary anointing, the mystery of death and glory, reality of heaven and hell, the secret of sustained glory, envoys of his presence, and then the warfare series now, the weapons of our warfare, pulling down stronghold, you know, the success and breakthrough series, activating breakthrough, dominion through excellence, supernatural exploits, give me this mountain. Um, I mean, there, there are so many. The protocol of an encounter, confronting the darkness, the error, the darkness of error and apostasy, um, Spiritual timing, reigniting a passion for the Holy Spirit, koinonia, ancient secret to power and relevance, spiritual strategy for renewal, divine direction, the power of hope, the power of preparation, prophetic implication of associations, you will want to listen to that message. The reality of spiritual laws, the faith that works, I wake down that sleepers. I can go on and on and on again. All these teachings were designed to build you. They were designed to build you. Are we together now? And I'm saying it especially for those online. If we can have a, an updated version of the catalog online. So that um, those who follow us online. There are thousands of people who follow us online. Can have access to this. And... Um, be blessed by them. Every one of these teachings are available and they are all free. It's a price we have made for the body of Christ as our contribution to seeing that the body grows. I want you to stretch your hands in one minute to this and i like us to pray and say, Lord, a fresh anointing upon it. We thank you for what these teachings have been doing to the nations. But in the name of Jesus, a renewed fire. Can you stretch your hands? Lord, we send these teachings afresh to nations, to prisons, to hospitals mighty miracles in a fresh dimension some of them are old teachings but we declare a new anointing upon them in the name of jesus 
we send them to the nations across Asia, across Europe, across the Caribbean, all across Africa. We send them as envoys, oh God, messengers of encounters, messengers of koinonia. Are you praying? We are praying from here and Lord, we are speaking. All those who have these teachings on their phones, their laptops, the grace to begin to listen to them. Lord, we pray that there be miracles, multiplied miracles, multiplied miracles, multiplied miracles. We open up the gates of new territories. Heathenistic nations be open to these teachings. The Middle East, Iraq, Iran, Palestine. Let there be men and women, oh God, that will take these teachings. May they bless ministries. May they bless individuals. May they go where we cannot go. We send them as messengers of fire. May they go with the hand of the Lord, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. May kings and nobles listen to these teachings. Let it shape governments. Let it shape territories. In the name of Jesus Christ, we release angels, new angels, assigned to take these teachings. New passion, new zeal. Prophetic evangelists all across this nation taking these teachings to unreached places. Hallelujah. Lord, we anoint this. I lay my hands upon it on behalf of your people. And Lord, we declare a fresh anointing upon these teachings. In the name of Jesus, a fresh dimension of the workings of the Holy Ghost upon these teachings. Let them go far further than we can imagine and produce great wonders in the lives of people. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'd like you to shout a big Amen. Shout it again, a big Amen. Amen. All right, pick up your writing materials. Let's get to the business of the night. Amen and amen and amen. It is God's desire that among the many things that happen to us, that we move from one dimension of grace to another. There are seven blessings that Jesus received in redemption and gave them to the church. It says, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, riches, honor, and it lists all of them. A complete and a balanced Christian life. Please pay attention. It's a Christian life that has, through the grace of God, accessed all these dimensions. Are we together now? And um, in the last, maybe the last few months have been like I would call it a spiritual archaeologist there has been such a renewed passion in my heart to study the church the ecclesia to study the body of Christ afresh this strange entity called the body of Christ I've had a renewed passion to study the body of Christ and to study the untapped riches please pay attention that are locked in in this mysterious entity called the body of Christ. One of the things that I've been sharing with us, and we had a revision on that last week, is the power of the body, the ability to discern the body. The Bible tells us in a very uncomfortable way how that the reason why there is a lot of weakness in the body, the reason why there is a lot of limitation, please listen, in the body, the reason why we are unable to, to, um, to not represent the full dimension of the glory and the power of God is because we have not been trained largely to discern the body and what it represents. First, Corinthians 11. Let's just look at that scripture. 1 Corinthians 11. Don't look at the projector screen. Open your Bible. 1 Corinthians 11. If you don't have a Bible, buy one. It's a goal worth setting. 
cancel the money for your hair and buy a Bible. Jordan is in front here. It's available. The shop can be opened after Koinonia. We, we buy nonsense. We buy things that don't contribute overall to our spiritual growth. And we ignore the things that have life. The Bible, listen, Jesus himself giving a parable. He says the kingdom is like a treasure. Listen. Someone had a farm and there was a treasure in that farm but he did not know what treasure he had. Are we together? And he said one found that treasure. And when he found that this land had treasure, he went and sold what? Every other thing to raise the money to buy that land. So it's worth it to make whatever sacrifice that will give you access. You see, in the spirit, I'm digressing for a reason. Don't major on the minors and then minor on the majors. There are some things when you hold them, other things must follow. Are you getting the point now? So don't chase foolish and mundane carnal things. This one thing, when you get it, other things must follow. For instance, the Bible says, get wisdom. Get wisdom. When you get wisdom, with wisdom comes wealth. With wisdom comes security. With wisdom comes divine direction. So, instead of praying for wealth, praying for divine direction, you cry for wisdom. Are we together now? You, you have to learn that certain things in the kingdom are contained in others. By getting certain major things, you get others too. I'll give you an instance. If the governor of Kaduna State is to come to Zaria, for instance, trying to bring the governor, the commissioner, the emir, is a very foolish thing. Just try to bring the president. Are we together? In bringing the president, every other person down that cadre must come. Are we together? So when you seek the presence of God, other things follow. When you seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, if you are truly doing that, other things follow. So what you are receiving in Koinonia, listen, I'm saying this because there are people who think we are neglecting certain levels of spiritual growth. You may say, ah, but apostle, why are we not teaching on this dimension and this dimension? What I'm teaching you is a superior dimension. It's a master key. I guarantee you, when you hold it, you will not need to look for other things because they will come. Are we together now? It's very important. Oh God, give me tea. Give me bread. That's the key to frustration. There are certain things when you have, that's the end of it. May you have it in Jesus' name. May God open your eyes to have it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So let's look at 1 Corinthians. I was saying something about the body of Christ. Um, 29 and 30. Thank you. It says, for he that eateth now, he was talking of communion. Right, the Holy Communion, Paul was helping them. Because um, theologically speaking, many of them, you know, the wines those days did not have a system of preserving it like we do now. So after a while, the wine would become alcoholic. And certain people started helping themselves with that alcoholic wine. So communion, that should just be just a shot of it, enough to help you. Certain people in the body of Christ who were custodians, maybe in the welfare department, started going out of the normal context of communion and they were drinking in the house of the Lord. Are we together? So those who think God did not talk about drinking, here it is. He says, for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, unworthily without respect, foolishly without revelation of what it means. He says, drinketh unto what? Eateth and drinketh damnation unto himself. But then broadly speaking, he says, not discerning the Lord's body. So, the extended understanding of this is not just the bread and the cup, but that if you do not discern the Lord's body, there is a danger. For this cause, not for many causes, for this singular reason, that God has a body that needs to be discerned for a man to succeed. And the inability to discern that body has produced this. For this cause, how many? How many? It didn't say few. For this cause. The inability to understand this mystery entity called the body of Christ. 
It says many are weak. The word weak there does not just mean weak like you don't have energy. Trust me. It means weakness in every fashion. It says for this cause many are what? Sick among you. And many sleep. The word sleep there is the word die. It's God speaking to us. That means somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that corrects weakness. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a key that can turn sick people to become healthy. Somewhere in the body of Christ is a mystery that can keep men long. Listen please. There are certain dimensions of spiritual reality that your personal work with God cannot deliver unto you. You have to learn this. Everything is not delivered to you on the platform of your personal altar and work with God. There are certain dimensions of God that only come on account of the corporate release. The, the treasures that come, they are not given to a person. They are only given through a person, but they are for the body. There are certain dimensions of God that will never show up when you are alone. That dimension only comes when believers are gathered together. If believers are not gathered together, that dimension of spiritual activity cannot happen. For instance, if no one man could bring the Holy Spirit to the earth. Are we together? 120 people had to be gathered together. That spiritual formation created the room for the Holy Ghost to come. Are we together now? When the church was being threatened, right? The church was being threatened. The Bible says that they prayed, but they came together. So there are certain levels of persecution that comes upon the church. The prayer of one man cannot stop it. It takes the prayer of a body. And in God's economy, two or more people form the body. One man, there are certain possibilities. He said, where two or three are gathered in my name. Is God helping us, please? One of the things that I really want us to have is spiritual intelligence. Say spiritual intelligence. It is the secret that helps men to do business in God's economy. You have to understand how God's system operates. So, there are treasures locked up in the body. Ah, you know, while I was preparing to come, the Holy Ghost gave me a revelation that touched my heart. And this is what he said. The Bible tells us, um, that when Jesus was born, listen, there was a star. Is that true? A star that was shining so bright at the east and the Magi, those we call the wise men, they saw that star and they followed that star and came where Jesus was. Is that true? And then they bowed down and they worshipped him. Now listen, a savior was born on earth. Listen, who could do a lot of things, but there were people who did not know. So on that earth, there was someone who was born, but they could not know. However, certain people decided to pursue and say, let's find out. And they found out that Savior and it blessed them. Do you know that when Jesus walked upon the earth, there were people who were never healed? I believe they were not interested in healing. Because in that dispensation, there was a man who had the ability to solve their problem. Jesus did not heal every sick person. He healed those who came to him. He healed those who pursued him and sought after him. He didn't just come and volunteer and say, I'm concerned about this, your situation. No. When people were hungry, Jesus said, feed them. And the production of the miracle, Andrew had to come with five loaves and two fish. And Jesus said, okay, you have come to me. He always responded to people's hunger and passion. Let me tell you something. God is not a welfare officer. He responds to faith and a heart that believes. Your coming to God is proof that you know He is. He exists. And then that is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Say Amen. Are we together now? Let me have, um, come, I need the guys, four or five gentlemen, please come. 
Just stand here. Watch this. I want to teach you something very powerful. Stand. Everybody open your eyes, your ears, your spirit. Two more people, please. This is the body of Christ. Listen. This is the body of Christ. Hold this, Patrick. Hold this. You are here Touching every life I worship you Let me have this I, I worship, worship you. you You are here Any other thing? Not hang- well, not handkerchief. I worship you. Thank you, sir. Everybody lift, project out what I've given you. Watch this. This is the body of Christ. Are we together? In the body of Christ, there is a phone, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a Bible, true or false. In the body of Christ, there is a handkerchief, true or false. So when God speaks, He speaks based on the provision that is in the body. So God says, anyone who wants to make a call, make a call. And now, this guy wonders, is there ever a phone in the body of Christ? Somewhere in the body is somebody who represents a dimension of God that can help men make calls. Follow me. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When God looks, He does not see, what's your name? He does not see brother Kingsley. He sees his body representing all the possibilities in him. So God tells you, where is the piece of paper that contains the blessings on your life? And you say, oh God, all I have known in my life is that the body of Christ has pure water. And God says, no way. Check, there is a paper. There is a dimension that holds this possibility. But that it does not happen in your life does not mean it's not here. Share what I'm saying. Are we together? This is the power that is vested upon the body. The body is part of Christ. So this is a modem. A modem helps you to access the internet. And God says there is a possibility in me for that dimension. But because you do not know the spiritual system that can help you access this. Are we together now? You may be suffering for this cause. For not discerning what this mystery entity called the body is. Some people will remain jobless forever. Listen please. Some people will remain sick forever. (laughs) Hear what I'm teaching you. Hear what I'm teaching you. I spoke, was it last week or two weeks ago, about spiritual tribes. The system of God that represents His possibilities. I told you that our personal spiritual growth is based on relationship. But kingdom advancement is based on covenants. You must understand this. So every time God wants to reveal His dimension to a dispensation, there is a mantle backed up by a throne in heaven that is responsible for that operation. It is those mantles that are represented as lampstands. Are you following me now? There are dimensions of the operation of the spirit. So what happens is, God finds one man, enters a covenant with that man, and the covenant is such that it can authorize the spirit to communicate certain dimensions of spiritual reality through that man to that dispensation and every other person who must walk in this dimension cannot ignore both the person and the office of this man are we together so I am God watch this you are thirsty and you are saying oh God quench my thirst and God said I refer you to my body It's no longer a prayer point. Somewhere in my body there is a system that was designed to quench your thirst. But through ignorance, arrogance, the lies that we pastors teach people, are we together? We pastors come and because of our ego, 
we teach people that single-handedly encountering us is encountering the body so they camp around the dimension of what we have and do not open up themselves to the multifaceted dimensions let me tell you something every custodian of this dimension is imperfect to a fault now this is usually where we are cheated because we are sensing that the vessels that hold this perfect gift must be perfect themselves so we are looking for patterns that look like what we can appreciate before we open up our hearts are we together so you get to a church and um, they may have all kinds of imbalances maybe criticizing a Pentecostal church or whatever it is and they may not allow praying in tongues publicly and when you see that pattern it's not what you are used to you were not trained that way you were trained to pray and blast and roll on the floor but the man of God has that limitation however in spite of that limitation there is a spiritual possibility committed to him that if you approach that meeting with an open heart you will still live with that grace are we together now watch this there are people who, who have opened up themselves to certain men of God certain meetings certain encounters you can come to a church like this and a meeting like this and even be angry why are they um, why are they playing instruments like this and just because you identified with that system certain possibilities come upon you you were not opening your heart to believe oh, just because you found yourself in that environment hear me your life becomes accelerated when you understand the law that governs reception from the body you may not have the physical privilege to meet all these tribes one on one but there is a system provided for in Christ that will help you to contact all the possibilities that they have please hear what I'm teaching you and you will rise like an edifice so, call this the prophetic. Call this the healing ministry. Sorry guys, just bring your hands down so you can rest. You can imagine what you are going through. Call this the teaching ministry. Call this the prayer ministry. Call this the prosperity ministry. Call this wisdom and excellence. Call this leadership. It's called the body of what? To teach that this should not be in the body of Christ. Is apostasy. That it was not committed to you does not mean it was not given to the body. Now, let me tell you where we preachers destroy the body of Christ. Because of our ego, and I understand, it's not easy for we men of God. So be careful. While you are criticizing us, understand that we are humans too. But then, a true servant of God must be able to have the unashamedness to hide your individualism and say, look, this is the beacon of light. This is the lampstand that I present to a generation. However, God's desire is that we open up our spirits to the multifaceted possibilities that exist in his body, not a ministry. By the time I, as a man of God who represents leadership and excellence, tries to give the body a picture that the prophetic is not useful. I, I, are we together now? So you hear me, anybody that prophesies is, is nonsense. All these commercial prophets, they are just nonsense and stupid. Now watch this. When the time comes in my life to need this grace, my hardness will stop the Holy Spirit from flowing in that dimension. Because I have refused to admit that it is a possibility that should be received. So my life is limited. For this cause, many are weak. Are we together? And so, this guy has been given the grace for wealth and prosperity. But now, this prophet or apostle knows how to speak. And then, God opens doors of wealth. So, he will look at this guy and say, All these business guys, they are nonsense. Come to me, so a seed, I lay hands on you, your door will open. He's also in apostasy and error. But any move you make, that distorts the full representation of the body is apostasy. A deviation from the truth. 
Are we together? So, I need the prophetic. I need the word ministry for a great meeting. But I need this ministry to run generator and run and, and marry. And are we together? So, ministry is going well. And now you are ready for introduction. It's 400,000. Your eyes are clearing. You are trying to use this ministry to get this result. And God says, not so. You must find where in the body is already a provision. It will require humility. But because you have made too much mouth that you don't need this ministry. Now, the ego to now humble yourself and say, how do I now read this business book? When I've told everybody that all there is to break through is prophecy. If you are getting blessed, say amen. amen. There are many people's confusion that can end. Look, for instance, there may be someone sitting here now who is praying and say, Oh God, fill me with the Holy Spirit. Something as cheap as the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you, the day of your breakthrough is the day you choose to believe the body. It's not just the day God wants. You can, the Bible says today if you hear his voice. That today is the day you read that scripture and believe. There are people who, you know when people call me and say, Man of God, I, I, I cannot imagine. I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. I say something as basic as that. In the realm of the spirit, that, that's, that's kindergarten. But because you have ignored that the body of Christ can bring these possibilities. All you need to do is to know that a house like Koinonia has been committed these dimensions of the Holy Spirit. You don't even have to see me. You don't even have to ask the prayer leaders to pray for you. Just find your way on Tuesday. Stay in that atmosphere and let that possibility... You may just go and... I mean, before the prayer starts, you've received your own. When the donkey... The was missing... They said, let's try to look for that donkey. And when they tried, and it looked like nothing would happen, I hope you know they would have said, Kai, there is no hope of it being found. Let's go back. Just the same way you said, Kai, I feel too much. I can't rise. No. You do not know what provision in the body was assigned for the rising of people. So because you do not know, your ministry will remain grounded forever. Whereas, you are sharing testimonies every day that there were people worse than you who encountered these graces and rose. As I look at preachers, as I look at churches, the privilege of the apostolic office is such that you have the opportunity to bring governmental order to a system and a territory. I can step into a meeting or travel to a territory for a conference and look at the pastors and at once I can know the spiritual dimension missing in that territory which is a reflection of how they have closed their heart to certain possibilities in the spirit. So I can step into a meeting and see excellence but men do not pray. Five minutes prayer you just see them pray and they are sipping tea, taking this. I know that they have ignored this dimension out of the body. Through their preaching, through their saying, prayer is not everything. Get knowledge, get knowledge. And because the man of God does not pray, he has created a theological explanation to justify his not praying. And the members have followed suit. So I look at them, lean and hungry. I know they are weak. When they talk, you don't hear that echo that comes from the prayer life. There is, there is an unction that only prayer can deliver. Bible study will not bring it. When you hear a man speak, the, his altar resonates through his voice. I'm not talking of a husky voice. I'm speaking spiritual languages. Only men of prayer understand what I'm saying. So they come up and say, it doesn't matter. Is there excellence? Yes. Are there balloons? Absolutely. Is there a nice projector? Yes. But are there healings? No. Is there transformation? No. People come with their burdens and go back. And I look at that body. And part of the apostolic ministry, please hear me. That's why, let me tell you something. The apostolic office is not name. The apostolic ministry, you know how Anamoiba is. Biology. Basic biology. The apostolic ministry is designed such that when you enter a territory, you can assume any shape by God 
to let him introduce what is missing in that territory. You have to believe. That's why the true dealing of an apostle is stringent and is almost unbearable because your job is to supply the dimension of the spirit that is missing. That sometimes you yourself are not called into that dimension. But because you occupy the office of an apostle, God will tilt you for that meeting to force you to introduce that dimension. It's God speaking to us. Learn this and you will rise as if the devil does not exist. The body is still rich. The healing anointing is still in the body. It just left your church because your pastor is not willing to accept that he needs impartation of the healing anointing. Are we together? Your pastor has been lying that he's having a heavy healing anointing and is not telling in the stories. And we men of God hate submission. We hate the fact that we can say, I was ministered to and this ministration opened me to this new possibility. We would rather say I labored in the secret place and God gave it to me. Meaning I am the custodian of it is a lie. When Jesus appeared to Paul, he told Paul, I recommend you to somebody in the body of Christ. Go and wait there three days. You would think that Jesus' appearing will mean Paul did not need any man again. But God still drove him. So there are people who have gotten the dimension of the Holy Spirit but they have ignored Papa Kumui simply because they do not like him and the lapse of what he represents to the body is killing them there is a lot of carnality and unseriousness because they have refused to know that there is such a provision in the body there are men who have insulted Bishop Oyedeko and do not know, ah, God let my people be rich. No, we are going to heaven. They are poor, they are broke, the ministry can increase. They have finished all their prayer. All that is needed for the ministry to thrive is finances. But they have ignored this provision in the body. Who is God speaking to tonight? See, let me tell you. Why suffer forever? When the remedy has been paid for. Why not open your eyes and humble yourself. And allow the spirit of God. To show you the system he has built. To tap in, in the multifaceted possibilities. Look at me. I say this with all humility. There are impotent men. And barren women. Who would die impotent. And die barren forever. I say it with every sense of apology. And I say it with every sense of honor. The, the humility to tap the provision that is in the body of Christ. I once met a woman years ago. I think it was in a meeting. Quite a long time. Let me tell you, I don't know what kind of grace was on this mama. But if she prays for you for pregnancy, just go and start buying baby clothes. Because you must give birth. It's, the question now is whether it's twins or triplets. Not that you'll be pregnant. There is a provision like that in the body. Is God speaking to us? Have you heard people here? Look at that lady saying she made her papers. She knew what she wrote. Sometimes it's not your effort. Sometimes it's the cloud that provides certain possibilities. See that? Those who know this never get arrogant. You know. Let me tell you something. I have seen. There's one man of God. Outside of this country, he's Benny Hinn's son. True son, not just fake stories. True son. That guy is not educated. That guy, you will know that this guy does not understand the system of church growth. But because he has been able to identify with what Benny Hinn represents to the body, that guy carries a tangible healing anointing. You see the testimonies in his church, you would think he's a charm. Because he has identified that grace and that office. So let me tell you how Satan destroys us. The devil creates a system that covers away these possibilities. Are we together? Through pride, hatred for the body, resentment, and through pastors. We may be well-meaning and sincere, but he covers us. So as far as your spiritual growth is concerned, and the part of spiritual progress that an, a pastor has earmarked for you, this is all he has shown you to be the possibilities in Christ. 
so you have to respect what you have been given but you know you are dying of test you know you are not communicating there is no revelation in your life there is no prayer there is no access to the prophetic now you can stand there your progress is based on how much of the body of christ you have been open to you will see somebody will come overnight who does not even have he has not paid half the price you have paid but he's foolish enough to contact this guy he will carry a grace and jump and move and you say no way how can a young man be a millionaire in four months i don't believe this these guys are 419 don't say they are 419 if you have not tapped into the provision in the body of christ is it not a prophet that said by this time tomorrow have you not read it in your bible not to a person to a nation israel a nation that is a desert land till today is still exporting food and nigeria 80 percent of the food we eat is exported israel is in a desert land because there is something upon abraham that landed upon them do they believe in god no you will imagine let me tell you those who have gone to israel you know those who are helping you in the facilitation they are not born again when they watch Africans come and cry on the wailing wall, they wonder, Oh, Jesus, my Savior. They are just waiting for you to give them their money. They don't believe in God, but they are part of a tribe that God has covenanted with himself that they will keep seeing certain possibilities. Koinonia, are you hearing what I'm saying? I give you a guarantee. If you pay attention to what I'm saying, your life will rise like day and night my only prayer is that you will not suspect yourself when you are rising there is a way you rise too fast that you turn and say ah, i hope i didn't put my hand in anything that is ungodly i can't understand why my life is rising like this listen whatever you see happening in the life of one man in christ came from the body is reproductible it is it has the ability to be transferred and it has the ability to be recreated if you understand the laws that govern it. People kept criticizing William Branham. I didn't used to work so much in the prophetic. Here and there, one word of knowledge, everybody teaches on William Branham and they made it look as if the guy backslided, went to hell. He's in fact, he's, I've read William Branham's books, I've explored his materials left, right and center, including those where there were a lot of erroneous propositions. But let me tell you something. The earth will hardly find a meek man like William Branham. Very few prophets on earth today have come near the shoes of William Branham. It's just that there was no mechanism of preserving their audios and their videos like we do now. So you may just watch one or two videos where you don't see anything. Those men live like gods upon the earth. They are the ones the Bible says the earth is not worthy of. Are we together? William Branham. Every time people criticize him, he brought error to the body. Yes, there were imbalances, but he's a man. One day I was watching his video. I think it was a retreat. Heavily under the anointing, I was watching his video and something happened. As I was looking at him, I said, oh God, but there is, we have, we have insulted the anointing out of this man. There are, there are possibilities that are supposed to come to the body that we ignore because of our our attitude of of that judgmental cynical attitude we inherited from our parents that is still destroying people and churches today while i was watching something happened now i have a lot of encounters i live in this realm but then it was like it was like you know how you pour oil on someone but it was such a cold sensation not just the sensation you have i knew something was happening i was looking at this man my eyes were heavy with tears and it's as if it's a machine going down your body slowly it took maybe about 30 minutes to go down and reach my feet i didn't know what had happened and every time let me teach you a secret whenever you have an encounter you don't understand pray in tongues pray in tongues praying in tongues will begin to give meaning to it not not pray for five minutes and sleep i mean stand up and pray it's like a shell you are opening it up spiritually and your mind will begin to receive the impulses that have been communicated to your spirit i began to pray 
and the next meeting I would go for it was it was like it was like somebody just washed my eyes with water and all of a sudden I saw that there was a heightened prophetic dimension a heightened ability and I said wow something happened I believe I've not even started tapping into 100 of that impartation that I got so I'm still aligning more by the time I align fully my life will release the full potential of what had come because let me tell you mantles depend on certain atmosphere to work um, I can receive a mantle listen I can receive a mantle but if my mind is not developed I will limit the access to that mantle finding expression are we together so I can function and you may see me you can carry the anointing upon my life and produce more results because the anointing is coming on a body that has been better prepared Moses was his camera so he could not manifest the prophetic anointing on him so much but when that anointing now came on 70 people they could not stand that's what one man was carrying yet he didn't prophesy are you hearing what I'm saying now say after me the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent God say it again the body of Christ has been vested with every dimension required to represent Christ are we together now is your is up to you to choose what dimension you desire to see in your life a very shared a testimony her family who at this time of Nigeria's economy will call you to send money free that is not happening in your life does not mean it's not happening let me tell you there are people this is the happiest year of their life I can tell you that now it's always insulting when results are not happening in your life and are happening close to you so you react to it with criticism you react to it with resentment but the key is to find out what are you doing someone sent me a text and said um, apostle I want you to confirm this it's like the love of men is waxing cold in the body of Christ I said that's an error go and think again the church is rising powerfully you are the only one going down find out what you are not doing people are praying more than ever before oh come on Revelation is coming upon the body more than before. Don't come up with your misguided thing that the church is going down. Who is the church? Don't say the church. Say I, as a member of the church, is hot. Like you can say, I have headache. And then the body can come together and help you. And say, it is true, you have headache. Let's bring you out. Don't use your headache to say the body is sick. Because let me tell you, the church is rising. What I'm teaching you will change your life. Look at our, our brother, this gentleman. Come, sir. You're the person who gave that testimony? Come. This guy came from Benway State. All the way. About to destroy... Come, 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 come. How are you? This guy about to destroy himself to commit suicide. Are you seeing that now? If this guy committed suicide and died, what do you think will happen? We are going to sing. Pass will we pass from the earth and its story. That's we are carrying his grave now. Remember by what? Here lies. What's your name? Our brother James. He died. It's a warning to all of us. No, no, no. I'm not mocking. Pay attention to what I'm saying. This guy, whereas one message one message held the possibility of reviving his life please listen i'm saying this with every sense of passion because we still need to press we have stopped them there are some of us who carry these mantles but they are not developed enough to start serving the body so your lack of prayer is making the body die in a certain way this message is a is a call to rise and develop your contribution to making the body right. Imagine if I was a drunkard. Or imagine that I started drinking January 1st because I'm weary. The message that would need to help this guy. Do you know standing here may be a pastor or a prophet to nations? 
so as I, as I refuse to manifest and he dies, the nation tied to him dies. The purposes of God for that nation dies. Look at the ripple effect. Are we together? He has come now. And you can see that this guy is going to catch fire tonight. No, 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 he will. It's not, we have it. This is what I'm saying. You must know what you have as given by God. It's not for pride. It's to distribute to the body. He says, such as I have, this is, you can pray for it somewhere else because it's not part of the spiritual composition of that ministry. But here we have it. It was given. It's an office. The same way there are some things that are not in koinonia. If we need it here, we must open our hearts to other members of the body with all humility. There are some things that don't happen as a gift here in koinonia. They happen through prayer. We pray and tap. But there are ministries, it happens like breathing. Some of you receive a lot of testimonies. If you see someone rolling under the anointing in koinonia, you will not be surprised. Because it's an office. There are churches, if one person is rolling, the pastor says, I've been telling you that God has increased me. I've been saying this thing. Now, it's not to mock, it's not, it's not mockery. I'm saying there are spiritual possibilities. How you know what is available in a ministry is what the people in that ministry trivialize. Because they've seen it so much. It's in abundance. You don't pray for it. You don't fast for it. You enter this place and you are shaking like a leaf. Because there is a covenant that makes this possible. This is a gentleman. Now, if I'm a stupid man of God, I'm going to do two things. And this is a warning to many pastors. When this guy comes now, because he has come to Koinonia, let me tell you what most foolish men of God do. They try to say, you have gone to every other pastor. Are you, are, you, are you seeing where we destroy the body now? You have gone to every other man. But when you came to Koinonia, everybody rises. And me, who is the champion you are talking about, I now rise. Those who do that, God is soon coming for them. Because that attitude is part of why the body does not grow. So, when this brother comes now, I do not isolate my impact to his life as though I'm different from the body. I just tell him, no, no, no. Whatever you receive here, I hide my individualism so that the body of Christ will be glorified. It does not matter that it is Joshua Selman. The most important thing is I have represented Christ properly. Your kingdom reigns. Yes, he reigns. Through this place. Have so this brother right now we're all looking at him what a foolish man of God would do is to make him hate every other man of God who has talked to him. Are you seeing now? I can make this guy hate every other man of God in Benway State or whoever. So the next time he's watching TV and he sees maybe a living faith or any ministry there, what he's going to say is all of you are rubbish. You are wasting our time. Only koinonia. Now, it looks like he's glorifying me, but he's destroying the image of Christ. I must leave this guy with an impression that makes him love the body of Christ. Because although he found an anointed man, although he found an anointed ministry, we hide our individualism that Christ be lifted. So as he's going to Benway, I will tell him, okay, take messages, but open your heart. God is doing great things in Benway. He's doing great things in Lagos. Don't even in a city where you think there are no people. I've gone to cities where you think God is not doing anything. But there are dangerous people in that city that God is lifting. So he comes here tonight and leaves loving the body.
he comes here tonight he receives the graces and the mantles that have been committed to this ministry but he goes back loving the body the next time he enters a church where the man of god is preaching and honestly what the man of god is saying is nothing to write home about he will understand the limitation of that man but not hate the man so the body has risen because the man of god with spiritual intelligence has been able to minister to this listen the ministry of the spirit is very important that's why you must be thoroughly worked upon by the spirit i can be anointed but i will still destroy him are we together how many of us have been destroying the body of christ with our misguided understanding and there are many more who want to rise and so god says calm down before you rise let me walk on you and say god i laid hands on somebody that day and the person fell down i'm ready to go and then god says tarry ye i'm still walking on you the body of christ every one of them holding possibilities like you have a doctor doctors write certain things and recommend other people to a hospital in india they say there is the world-renowned eye surgeon is in india although i'm a consultant i refer you to that guy because this situation i want you to go and whatever he tells you to do we can execute it here that's the medical field that's why they are helping people but in the church i can claim i'm an anointed man now and then i look at this guy and say in the name of jesus i cast out that spirit and then i say it's done you too you know nothing happened here are we together the man said if i be a man of god go and launch into new dimensions this guy goes back and starts smoking as soon as he gets to bed with because the spirit was there unmoved by the arrogance of the man of god that's how we destroy many people someone comes and tells you i have i am ss and he said in the name of jesus it is done go the person comes back and says nothing happened and he said well you see faithless people like you i don't know why there are too many testimonies in my life no no that's a foolish man of god a man of god who really loves god will say look i will keep praying for you but i want your heart to be open there are still possibilities in the body so when god says all things are possible they are not possible just because you are a christian they are possible because he has distributed these dimensions to the body God speaking to you please hear me brothers and sisters you may be born again and still die in poverty if you ignore what God represents the systems he has built you are not going to create look this guy will not pray himself into becoming excellent no his prayer life will not suddenly manufacture into this his prayer life will give him the revelation that will make him come and meet this person are we together this guy is excellent but he's not going to heal the sick with balloons and stickers he's going to heal the sick when his spirit is alive and strong and that will happen when he acknowledges the ministry of this listen meeting the people is not necessarily how to receive just being open to the body alone let me tell you something there are ministries that i have received from even more than the members of that ministry i have never seen their pastors i have never gone to those ministries but just because my heart is open i have received wisdom from people like dr mike murdoch i've never been to the wisdom center i've never sat down one-on-one -on -one under his ministration but my heart has been open to what he represents to the ministry he's an apostle of wisdom whether you say seed 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 is collecting money i take what i believe is consumable for me and whatever part i think is an excess i lovingly just drive it but i don't throw the baby under bad water i know how to receive from ministries i tell you This is a message for us and God is helping us. We are going to really pray tonight. Discerning the body. Give us that scripture again. For this cause. Not for this causes. For this cause. You have written Jam 10 times. Who told you there is no way out? But sir, I always read. That's what you think is responsible for success alone. But there is a provision in the body. 
Do you believe this? I remember the doctor when he was giving his testimony. When he came and met me, he said he's going to go and write exam. I said, go and be a doctor. Listen, Korede Komaya, many of you may know him. He pastors a church in Wari. The wife of um, Bishop, um, what's his name? In Living Faith. Not Abioye. Um, Bishop Aremu. They have twins. And so she came to greet the woman. And Bishop Aremu's wife looked at Korede Komaya's wife. And he looked at her and took what the veil she was putting, threw it on her, and said, What are you doing? Go and get twins, Joe. Sure. Immediately, she was pregnant with twins. She's giving birth to twins now. Now, you have been crying for twins, but there is a woman with the mantle. She's even playing with it. Go and get twins, Joe, sure. in the body. But there are some people saying, Lord, one child, whether the child is well or not, just give me something that comes out of me. Whereas, the body, please. I want you to take what I'm saying very seriously. I am a product of many anointings. I keep rising because I love the body. Not just because I'm anointed. I was not born with every possibility in my life. I honored my way through them. And the key is to love the body. The body may be imperfect. I know there are false prophets. But the, the prophetic mantle is still in Nigeria. I know there are false apostles. But the prophetic mantle is still. I know there are money mongers, but there are still people with the prosperity mantle. Don't just because you have one or two case studies, throw everything in the body of Christ and you destroy yourself. Is God speaking to us? You have to change your perception. Way make a miracle work, a promise. Light in the darkness, that is who you are. Sing it to him. They make up, we walk, walk, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, that is who you are. Gentlemen, look at me, let me speak to you. You can choose the way people are trying to be established and be established at 45 and build your first house at 55 and die at 60 of high blood pressure or you can find out Lord is there a system you have created that can help men run Elijah told Ahab saddle your ass Ahab always knew that if you must run you run on donkeys so he had the best donkey but there was another system foreign to Ahab but the prophet knew it the Bible says the hand of God came upon him let me tell you something. All the methods you know is not all there is. There are faster and more effective routes to anything. I have seen men, brothers and sisters, within two years of their work with God, they have carried graces and unctions that will make other people angry and say, I sought God for 10 years before the healing anointing came. I don't know how you sought Him, but this brother sought Him in a system that made two years become like 20 years. This is the key to advancement. If God says this is our year of multiplied grace, then there is a technology He wants to give you to run. Let me tell you, we have been working, but it's time to run. It's time to run. The key is discerning the body. The key is discerning the body. The Lord instructed me to empty my account and sow it into a particular ministry. When I did that, I was shocked. It was like charm. One month of non-stop favor. Permit me to use the word wicked favor. I've seen favor in my life. The same way I have seen pastors who just came and sat down. Some of you are like that. They came from other ministries. They never go to see me. But they went back. And all of a sudden, their next meeting, things just changed. One man of God went to, I think it was Bishop Oedeko or so, and sowed a seed. I shared with you the story. Oedeko said, now that you have come, it's recognized that you have a church in your area. You know that looks arrogant, isn't it? But the man knows what he's saying. The man went back and in one service, they had 500 newcomers. 500. 500. Listen, 
the men of God and the spiritual structures that carry these systems may have their arrogance. They may have their imperfections. But create a system to look beyond it. You know what you are finding. If you find God, you will find Him. If you are finding a loud, you will find Him. But for you to think all you have seen is all there is in God, you are joking. Please hear me. This thing called favor does not just fall on people because you read it in scripture. There are men carrying this thing bodily. It's like a mantle on their head. Anywhere they go, anywhere they go. We were at the airport. I was just sitting down. We were waiting for a boarding call. And while we were sitting, a gentleman just came, a man of God. He said, sorry, are you Apostle Joshua Selman? I said, ah, somebody has come to embarrass me again. And then the person, you know, we just spoke and he just said, excuse me. He just went and put money in an envelope and brought it and dropped it. Just like that. Is he working in your life? Some of you know. Why? Because you think it must come through your personal secret place. Look, God has created. Do you know the spiritual discipline it takes for a man to carry some of these things? People have labored for you. So that by the grace of God and through the power of a corporate life, you can enter into certain possibilities. Trying to dig the well afresh, your lifetime is not enough to enter every dimension by yourself. If it takes 10 years to catch a particular spiritual possibility, how long do you have to live to get all of them? So God has created men. Your honor and your love for the body opens you up automatically to that dimension. Those of us who have the art of criticizing the body, you own your television and everybody, you keep scrolling channel after channel, insulting everybody. You go to church and your pastor, you look at him, saying all these Anglican people say, they are about to just keep quiet. Look for Christ and you will find him. Look for excellence, you will find it. Look for anointing, look for prayer, look for these graces and you will find them. That's what I've chosen to do. I'm, I'm like, that's why I told you I'm like a spiritual archaeologist. I go around the body of Christ with my bag of treasures. When I find it, he said they are life to those who find them. That's how we found the grace for long life. That we transported like gold from Ekiti State to Koinonia. We landed it here. I know how it came. It came from a city and a territory that have a covenant of long life. 141 years still alive i said no way we must receive this our seed went for it but those yoruba people prayed for us with their with the mama prayed on barefoot when it landed on my life i knew we're coming back from yola there was so much trouble turbulence in the air they had to turn back the plane turned back from yola back to abuja because the turbulence was too much now when they carried us, I mean, it was as if we were going to drop. God is my witness. I was sleeping. Guys, the mysteries that surround my life are many. What you see is not all that there is. You try it and see. It's like Obama. You know how Obama is watching. You want to shoot him and you just die. Somebody shoots you from where you do not know. Because they are watching. The keeper of Israel. He never sleeps nor slumbers. He's watching over me. That's my testimony. The keeper of Israel, he never sleeps nor slumbers. Yeah. He's watching over me. There are men that have a covenant of deliverance with God. They will enter trouble as if there is no tomorrow. Quarter to say, God will show up. When you have even concluded, David was such a person, Psalm 3. Many a day, he said, how many a day that trouble me? Many a day that rise up against me. Many a day that say, where is his God? He said, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Listen, it's not every man that said that. They didn't have it. David had it. It's called the covenant of peace. In the Hebrew, it's called the covenant of shalom. The covenant that makes God show up when a man has trouble. There is such a covenant. There is such a mantle. You need it in this Nigeria. You don't need to look for trouble. You just need to be a Nigerian. Trouble will come and find you. But sometimes you cannot defend yourself. 
But when that mystery is at work, you will see God turn things. It's like Ojoro, they said, no, 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 but I know this person is supposed three causes. I understand waving one, but three causes. Why you? There is something they do not understand more than the Senate of APU. I want you to believe this. Men walk upon mysteries. That's why two people can go through the same thing. Another person will die. But another person says, I don't know what happened. I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see. My troubles held me down. The pressure led me down. God kept me. So I wouldn't let go. His mercy kept me. So I wouldn't let go. Listen. There are lots of ladies who are saying, No man has come to ask me out. I know I'm not pretty. It's a lie. It's a lie. There are married women with 10 children. And somebody is still saying, sorry, can we have dinner? It's a grace. Well, you can argue it because you went to school. I'm telling you, it's a grace. You see, this education is good, but you have to be careful. The realm of the spirit is far superior to the intellectual realm. There's a gentleman in this ministry. I've never seen somebody with that grace. There is nothing he does not do that doesn't prosper. He has done all kinds of things. If that guy sells pampas, I don't mean it in a shop from his house. There are no children here, but you will buy it. Something will make you just say, let me buy it and give somebody as a gift. That's the kind of grace he has. I know people who have their shop. They sit down alone and eat everything in the shop because you have business intelligence, but you have not opened up yourself to that dimension. Please, as we begin to pray, let your prayer lift you in the spirit where you scan for where you have ignored. And let's cry out and say, Lord, there is no prosperity in my life. I've been trying to fake it, but this thing is not there. Let it come. Do you know if it comes before miracle service, you can have a testimony that dwarfs everything. It's because you think everything you work, you work for is what you must get. There are people who have worked for things. The grace can direct them to you. For this cause, for this cause, there are women who desire men. They have six ladies, and they are about, their home is about to scatter because they are looking for a man. And the man is saying, This is your last chance. If you ever give me a girl, you are following that girl to go out of the house. Of course, that's a stupid reason. But do you know there is a woman with 12 boys? Why don't you exchange it? Who taught you that these things are not transferable? You can transfer a charge card, MTN share, but you can't transfer spiritual virtue. Who lied to you? You break your 2,000 naira recharge card and give somebody 500 and he receives it. And you don't believe you can transfer spiritual virtues? Who lied to you that I cannot impart upon you grace for prayer? The, my agreement with God can come on you. Listen, listen. Guys, I don't know how we think sometimes, honestly. I can tell you, I want to browse. I have 5,000 naira in my phone. True or false? And I can say, okay, send 1,000. You just need to press a code. And your, your amount will be deducted. Abi? And then it will come to somebody. And he's just sitting down and his phone rings. Credited with 1,000 naira. Did he work for it? You could share it because you are willing to share and he was willing to accept. Who told you you cannot do that spiritually? You can transfer health. Not healing. Health. You can transfer it. Believe me. If you can transfer sickness, why can't you transfer health? Please answer me. Biology teaches us airborne disease. What's the other one? Waterborne disease. And whatever you want to call, you can transfer it. You can transfer wealth. These things are first spiritual. You can receive it. If you don't believe what I'm saying, get ready to struggle in this life. Because it's not by power. It's not by might. We have ignored God's system 
of making things easy for us. God is not a wicked God. If you do not walk with the body, and this is all you have, you will make God look like a wicked God. Because you'll be like, oh God, help me. Let me tell you, the answer is not in heaven. Someone on earth is walking in your prayer point. And if only your heart will be open. Prayer was not just designed for petitions alone. It was designed as a spiritual system to help you grow. But most of our prayer life has been channeled towards pleading because we have ignored the body. Are we together? There are people in life, they may not be so spiritual, but there is, there is no time they cry for help. The help does not arise. There are people like that because their grandmother blessed them and said, may you always find help. She transferred something from her and it landed on that little baby who could not say amen. The baby grew not knowing there was such a possibility. But the baby noticed that every time I go somewhere, help has arrived. Brothers and sisters, it's a grace. There are people who their grandfathers were herbalists. Babalao, but they laid hands on them and said, May your eyes see. They grew up as children from age four, five. They started seeing. They are not born again because originally from God, they were called to walk in a prophetic dimension, but it was corrupted. Although the transference came through divination, when they get born again, God does not cancel it, it only corrects it. There is a switch of kingdoms upon which that possibility operates. That's why when an occultist gets born again, he doesn't stop seeing vision. It only comes back under the authority of Christ. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. There are dimensions of the Spirit that are possible. See, this house, Koinonia, is a great house. This house, Koinonia, is a great house. There are all kinds of possibilities for your taking. Now, you can sit down and argue it. Is this thing real? Is this possible? Or you can say, Lord, I'm tired. It's not this hard. I'm, it's, it's not this hard. Now, for the next 10 minutes, we're going to pray. Listen, your prayer, you are not asking God for anything. You are just going to pray in the spirit. I want you to prepare your spirit for a distribution of mantles. A distribution of mantles. A distribution of possibilities. 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 <laughs> Results are possible in the kingdom. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Listen, let me teach you something. There are pastors here. You have never seen the hand of God show up in your meetings. It's an insult on yourself. It's not, it's not about prayer and fasting. There are cheap possibilities you can step into. There are churches, there are prayer groups for years. You are four five you become 20 you come back to three why punish yourself it's not so hard why don't you open up your spirit to receive there are people there's no man in your life to help you you work for everything it's a cost don't think you are making progress just because you have a job it's a cost to not have helpers show up for you. There is a place called Zion. And God can send help to men. We are a ministry that has been greatly helped by God. Do you believe that? 
We are going to pray. The next two to three minutes, I want you to pray. Listen. Anointing is not just a spiritual thing that lands on your head. No. An anointing is simply an impartation that opens a dimension of spiritual possibility. Please hear what I'm saying. An anointing does not do everything. Your request directs its operation. Are we together now? You don't just say, God anoint me. It's not a wise prayer. Father, everything is working in my life but this prosperity thing. Lord, I don't see helpers arise for me. I beg and I struggle for everything. I get in trouble and pay for it by myself. There is an anointing for exemption. Lord, I see that there is no influence in my life. You know the area you need grace for. I'd like you to pray like your heart will come out of your body. Cry for the dimension you must see in your life. to pray it with fire because as you pray it God will answer it number one father the anointing for speed the anointing for speed that I will run everybody will see that this is speed release it upon me in the name of Jesus pray 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 speed
tell you, brothers and sisters, what you are receiving in this prayer will speak. I assure you, it will. It will. Please don't think God is playing games with you. We are not serving an idol. I show you a mystery that has made and is making my life. I know what I'm saying. Prayer point number two. Lord, multiply my results. Multiply my results. Lift your voice and pray. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. of masquerade. Some of us, where we come from, you know men who are also masquerade. There is a language they use. When you see men who are masquerade, they say they cook them. Abi, they say they cook the man. That's why he can speak. That's what is happening to you now. That, that thing that they say they cook a man, that you come out and it will be like charm is on you. That's what is happening. The last prayer point. Or at least the next one. Listen. People hear me. Hear me. I don't know how to beg you to pray this prayer point. But you've, you've heard me say it. I'd like you to call your helpers. Listen. Koinonia, listen. Until your helper shows up, you can remain in one position for decades. Listen. A helper is not a volunteer. A helper is a man anointed to rescue you. Listen. You may die and not be able to move to certain dimensions. Until a helper arises, listen, listen. There are many families with no helpers. There are many lives with no helpers. There are people who need jobs, no helpers. Intelligence, no helpers. It's a prayer I pray every day. Listen, there is no helper that comes on his own accord. They are called. I have seen financial helpers in my life. I have seen all kinds of helpers. Any good information that can help Koinonia, they call me, man of God, there is so and so. Have you considered it? Listen, you need them to move forward. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I speak to the spirit of my helpers. Share the word of the Lord. Show up in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray.
Hallelujah. Look up everyone, please. Listen. We are still praying that prayer point. Hear me. I know what helpers can do. Where a man shows up from nowhere and says, I came to help you. There is such a thing. Listen. Listen. Many ladies are married because a helper showed up. Many people have gotten jobs. There are people, I have been a destiny helper to many people. I remember someone who was trusting God for promotion. And in a meeting, I met somebody who was like um, a representative of that company. And I called the person. I said, I know this person. Please, if there is any assistance they can render, honestly, out of respect for me, that guy was promoted to a position that even surprised me. Help us. Somebody needs to talk to somebody about you. You can't talk to them. Say in the name of Jesus. Whoever needs to talk about me. For my help to come. I release you to speak on my behalf. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I release you. I power. Listen, listen. We are still praying over help us. There are many of us, the trouble you are in now, you can't bring yourself out. It's not just by prayer and fasting. You need a human vessel to show up. We are going to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, every mountain standing before me, every closed door standing before me, Whoever holds the key, by prophecy, I call the person, open that door for me. Lift your voice and pray. Open that door. says verily very I say unto you if you have faith as small as the monster said he said thou shalt say to this mountain listen every challenge in your life has a spirit component to it we are still rounding up but make sure you pray this prayer pray it with everything you have say in the name of Jesus every disappointment Every shame, every challenge in my life, sponsored by hell, I declare that the powers behind those problems, you come under judgment now. Lift your voice and pray. Every power behind the disappointment in my life.
you one more prayer point. Listen. There are many of us, God wants to bless you. But your heart has been closed. So you do not receive other blessings from the body. This prayer is going to open you up to the possibilities in the body. Say in the name of Jesus. I repent from criticizing the body. Say in the name of Jesus. My heart is open to every blessing, every dimension, every possibility in the body. Therefore, I call every anointing, every grace, every mantle, every unction required for my next level. Come upon my life. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Every mantle. Under the anointing, please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. Don't worry, instrumentalist, you can play. to do what I'm asking you to do. Father, I stand upon this office in the name that is above all. And I pray that everyone laying his hand on his head let it be transparent as a fresh dimension of power and wisdom Let's go. 
bless me. My heart is exalted. Let the heart of the unity come. And I am anointed with fresh oil. Isaiah 48, media help us very fast, if we can, please. Isaiah 48, verse 17, stretch your hands towards me, please. Please. I don't want you to come for koinonia and waste your time. Isaiah 48. Verse 17. Just say the Lord thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Stretch your hands towards me. I am the Lord thy God who teacheth thy hands to profit. Listen. The hand of a man represents his labor. It's the mystery that brings abundance. I want to pray for you. Many of you will enter dimensions of breakthrough by this prophetic act. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands out to you. can stand on your feet the Bible says they know not neither will they understand please listen he told Abraham he said look eastward southward northwards he says everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon listen there is a mystery of dominion that men can hold firm grasp of territories and dimensions. I've taught you there are five elements upon which the supernatural finds expression. Number one is light. <laughs> Number two, fire. Number three, Wind. Number four, the earth. Are we together? One of the mysteries that we're using. Listen, the earth is a universal point of contact. No matter how high a building is, it must make contact with the earth. I want to pray for you. This is a very deep mystery. Very deep mystery. It's time for you to come into supernatural dimensions of influence. This is an impartation for influence. <laughs> listen, listen. When it was time, listen. When it was time for Jacob to bless his sons, he said, put your hand under my thigh. I'm about to speak to you and impart grace for influence. There is a grace. There is a grace. I pray for you. You are stepping upon the ground. I'm not speaking to you now. I speak to the earth. You have ears and you have doors. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. According to the measure of grace that has been given to me. I pray in the name of Jesus. That every time 
your people are in trouble for as long as the earth their feet is upon the earth let the earth fight for them tell me Job said Job said in times of war you will be exempted because you have made a covenant with the stone I pray for you for as long as your feet is on the ground may no man be able to defeat you 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 I pray for you as you are stepping your feet on this ground go where you could not go enter where you could not enter the ocean and the grace for new territories I release upon you now I release upon you now new territories in the spirit new territories in finances new territories of influence new territories in the name of Jesus new territories new frontiers I break that ground for you I break that ground for you just the spirit in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Listen, the last prophetic act. Deal with your feet. Listen. <laughs> ah, yeah. The Bible says Jericho was a fortified city. No man could break into it. The men, the Israelites, were not strong in themselves. And the Lord said, You are going to use your feet as a prophetic act to bring that city down. It says, Walk around. It didn't say, Sing. It didn't say, Clap. Use your leg and match the earth. Make contact with the earth from which you came. Seven times. Hold on. I'm not telling you to do it. And the moment they did it, the Bible says, on the seventh day, go around seven times. And then he said, after that seven times, shout. And when they shouted, the wall did not fall. It sank. I pray for you. The same way every physical mountain is connected to the earth. There is no mountain hanging in the space. It makes contact with the earth. I pray for you. In the name of the Lord God of heaven. As your feet is stepping upon this ground. Any human agent. Any spiritual agent. Responsible for the predicament in your life. If I be called of God this night. This night. I declare, may the angels of judgment, strike those men, strike those women, strike those altars, strike those men, if they will not let you go, strike those men, in the name of Jesus, by the mystery of the earth, I smite them, I smite them in their sleep, I smite them while they are awake, may the earth fight them. I want to pray that prayer again. We are rounding up. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for the tears of any man standing here, as surely as there is a God, please hear me. I'm speaking prophetically. In the name that is above all names, that force that will refuse to let you rise, by the Lord God of heaven, that name called the man of war, Sabaoth, the avenger of men, right now, I command those altars, wherever they are, as they are standing on the ground, may they catch fire now, right now, may they catch fire now, may they catch fire now, may they catch fire now, I release your breakthrough, I release your healing, I release your miracle. Hallelujah. In one minute, I'd like to prophesy and say I'm rising to another dimension. No force. Go ahead and pray. No force. No power. No spirit. Are you praying? No force. No power. 
No spirit. No force. No power. No spirit. See miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles. Right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you, there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The, the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God. My God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God right now. I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside, the power of God is falling outside. Activities of witches and wizards right now. Satan, 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 Lift your hands. The devil must let you go tonight. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus! the chains those outside lift your hands those those outside those outside lift your hands hallelujah I see the angels of the Lord 
moving outside lift your hands those outside you're going to shout Jesus there will be such a move of fire physical fire outside are you ready now those outside one two three Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel. 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 Please, let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside. That guy is outside. You are wearing something like green. Greenish, like flowery something. Green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling take a papa 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 then let her go now let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her now. release her family now Release our family now. Release our family now. I the chains. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you. Look at me. 
things will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this father let it be done in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing military uniform who is a soldier who is a soldier around you i'm seeing this I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah, well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone? I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <laughs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Let her be free. In the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this, down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every cause of my delay, leave God people now, 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 every cause, bring them out, bring them out, every spirit, stop his marriages, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, every spirit, Stop it, Marathi. 
Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every heart of witchcraft that has tied families we release you right now Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go, out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I'd like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if it's if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains. The chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. God, power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus look at me your family 
It's not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Is tied, and this is like the destiny of this family. And they've done everything to tie it, but I release it right now. I release it by the Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied, take the destiny of any family that has been tied, be released now. 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 Every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft, go Be released now. Hallelujah. 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 I tell you, the breakthroughs that are happening, many of you will leave this place, you will be surprised. Just believe me. There is somebody outside, two people in fact, the fire of God will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way. They will never be able to contain it outside. When that happens, let me have those people. If two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit, you can't stand it. You will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire. Like wildfire, it will come upon you. Please let me have the ladies. Like wildfire, it will turn you. You will be running. It will happen to you. You will be running around. You will be running around. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady, you're seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure treasure or something precious who is that like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome where's your mother She's at home where? 
We need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barrette prega de boxa. Ni va so paria cavaria doste che parata ta. I prato se palia na bako se che de pregadia. Preteste parata bako se che de va. Si panda bako. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue and say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles now. You know, we are bounded by time. If we we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick. You came with someone sick or you are sick. Now is your time to walk up to the front. Come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle. And make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request. Hallelujah. Please. If it's someone that cannot stand, maybe if there's a way, protocol can help the people. And then maybe we can have a chair or something. Whatever it is. Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. 
Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer cases, whatever it is, genotype, don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, Start writing it. He, his presence is here. His presence is here to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection. No matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. So heal. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. To heal. Oh, I am Lord. I am the Lord. The His presence is here to heal. To heal. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit. So just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate. And let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. Hallelujah. Daddy, don't cry. What's wrong with you, sir? I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years. 30 years. Brothers and sisters, 30 years arthritis. Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. 
Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, easy yourself. Easy myself. The team will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, Jehovah, you've done, you done for me, me. what no one else will do. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. at this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this look at this look at this look at this Look at, look at this, look at this. Hallelujah. Ah. Come on now, hold on, hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no pain. Completely. <laughs> Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise, 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 praise. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows. Dance to the shame of the devil. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? 
from Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen in the name that is above all names I prophesy just leave him leave him he's just sitting down he's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself I cannot stand up by myself like that before alright sit down and try it again sit down and try it again you know he couldn't stand up but help him help him sit down Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. Let's when Jesus up. say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. This one is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. Like, I can no longer conceive. You can no longer conceive. Why? One has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed, the other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be beautiful? <laughs> Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. Bro. I wish she were here. She would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister. Sadia's sister. She's not here. That is she around? Come. Come. Come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh, bless the be Hallelujah. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake headache, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby this baby was looking like an angel they were snapping the baby right 
Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you'll be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is in it. Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant, give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done, you will return with your miracle children. I'll attend to everybody now will be very very fast so that we can save time. Worship team, please. My God is awesome. He can move my Hold on. Let her talk. Yaro nane aje Israel. Aje Israel zin. She she ena aiki the Nigeria Christian Progress Commission, Abuja. So say so take a pee. Ya leading ya in South South. Say ya a dog without who do see just be cashy. So take a chill she the go fourth floor. So yet the shakasa. So take a carabak put ya wajen she. Twenty December fourteen. Yena Pama a Israel. She ne asa na che. Am I naiki enzu? Hari enzu? Am I enzu? Look at the yard, Fadi. I check with that you bunganaba, with that you rubutuba, with that eat a fiaba. Ogasi, I check to a chick about the truth in dish. I do a la yaga machi, that eat a fia, that you mugana, that you rubutu. So now, yes, so, Yenzungena rubutu, Yena mugana, a maca fadi, ne, the father at a fia. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. What's his name? Bege Pocheche. Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk every broken bone we mend it now thank you jesus mama you will return with a testimony in the name of the lord jesus christ and i pray for you now get you on buyer hold on buying can make his office sometimes go your back come on i get the kafa harian as well at the kafa they call it singing kashabi in Alsa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Hausa, Baju, anyone. English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah. That's what? That's Baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you when you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? Senator, Papa, Bajiba, 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 Baji
You don't know what they are saying, just rejoice with them. Hallelujah. Mommy, be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus, I cause that pain right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain, go. Walk, man. Walk. Walk. Walk, walk, look at this. Walk, look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent, completely permanent. In Jesus' name, and your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome, he can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broke, strength where
Usher, start collecting the prayer requests very quickly. Start collecting the prayer requests very quickly.
Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy, they are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful, but look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. 
forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I curse evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be made whole. In Jesus' name. You will not fall. They are supporting you. Please don't be afraid. Just follow me. Come. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Now come. Come. Just come. Just come. 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 Look at this. Come on now. Koinonia, celebrate Jesus. He's walking by himself. Don't worry, you will not fall. They are supporting you. Just come. Just come. Leave them that you walk by yourself. Come. Come. Thank you, Jesus. Come. Come on, Koinonia. He's walking by himself. Exercising the leg.
online they should connect with us we want to pray right now hallelujah god is setting people free please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very very important hallelujah god is going to be if you've not submitted your prayer request please do that just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly please one minute one minute one minute let's do this quickly all those connecting with us um, through the internet they can just connect by faith hallelujah Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray as Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Shele braka to na mane mang dosi prega la 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 boko so para bala braka la 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 ba dosi mbara la 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 da boko so para ya da 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 ba kasha da da braka la 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 da boko so mega da mega da rata bala mega la bala 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 Rata da baya rava la baya 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 in no se i kapari onde in do o pari ala kabau se i la baha re i kapa on se i kapa na kada li i no se i ma kou se i ne panda ma pre kou se prenda kou de i ri i pari on se i la ha ri no se i para i o se i la ka i la ha mi a tash ka i na tanda kou de mi e kou se i na tanda ba ha ra kan de o Dile pa pronte pia tose i capante ere Ra i a pateria a rosta i ta a viando I lenta a ruinte i o onte i e Ra andele rupuste i la banda As your voice is fast from heaven Lord Answers come by the spirit of God Sees us with his eyes of mercy, he answers our prayer speedily. Lord, your grace, I see the angels of God come like flash of light, real fast, bringing answers to prayers. For some of us, we will receive calls even tonight. Answers, answers, answers to prayers. Ah, just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord, and right before. The prophet left the temple. Answers came. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord brings healing. Aha. Thank you, blessed Lord. Bakos i perioto shimile gamfrong siki parodo sile branda karabadose. There's a particular case. of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, our Father, God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now.
a few minutes and we'll be out of here but this is very prophetic for me I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation because of our time please there are people here you've not given your life to Jesus you've seen the works of the kingdom and tonight you're saying Jesus I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as I pray I want you to march forward you'll be the first I'm going to be praying for there are people here right now others you've given your life to Christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying Lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left I'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them God bless you as you come people are coming God bless you don't be afraid God bless you I know there are many people outside there are many people inside don't wait for anyone this is a decision this is your salvation this is very important forget about your friend forget about who you came with quickly quickly please save time we'll just count one to three one those outside double up don't be ashamed you don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you please find your way run to Jesus Christ don't be ashamed this is a decision to begin to walk with God don't be emotional about it this is a sincere decision it can decide your eternity after now don't sit back there are people still sitting back the Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come the Bible says if you hear his voice in that day harden not your heart God bless you God bless you there are more people coming from outside please celebrate them very quickly find your way to the front hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them God bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah people are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call but please we mean business this is very very serious God bless you our sister just join us very quickly say after me Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood for me tonight I make you my Lord and Savior I repent of my sins I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I declare that I begin to make progress in my life I submit to the authority of Jesus I denounce sin and Satan from today I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep the hands lifted up father thank you these hands are lifted unto you they will never be put down in the name of Jesus let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last thank you for this decision they are making today the powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death we command that they are set free from it in the name of Jesus Christ do wonders in their lives make mighty men and women out of them in the name of Jesus Christ we celebrate you we love you we honor you thank you for making this great decision now I like you to follow the ushers the people with blue and black hallelujah follow the gentleman this side just follow them they will have your details and then we'll communicate to you celebrate them koinonia thank you so much everybody lift your hands please rise rise as we pray praise the lord by the way let me celebrate pastor pete rock's wife she's, she's been hiding hallelujah if you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow clap hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah please I'd like you to shout amen as we pray he said son of man can these bones live again he said only down knowest and he said prophesy hallelujah praise the Lord this is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny hallelujah Lord we give you praise right now in the name that is above all names I pray every door that has been closed over anyone's life
Rata Poto Paretata Make a bonde le karatabaya. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I command breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Every closed door over your destiny be open now. Every terminal disease in your body, I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, What shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names. May an anointing for favor, a real anointing with proofs, may it come upon your life now. Receive favor now. Favor with God. Favor with man. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And the king sent for Joseph, and they brought him out of his dungeon. And the king, whoever needs to send for you, who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life, I call them into your life now. I call them into your life now. In the name of the Son of the living God. Destiny help us share the word of the Lord. I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, And thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Let me tell you the truth the Lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity. Therefore, I prophesy. That anointing for breaking limits I prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of Jesus Christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the Bible says the vine dress are passed and saw them idle. He said, why sittest thou idle? He said, no man employ us. And he told them, go to the vine. There is always work when God speaks. He saw them idle. He said, why sittest thou? There are many people here trusting God for jobs. Right now, in the name that is above all names. Between now and next miracle service, receive your miracle job. I prophesy it. I release it. For you and for your family members, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. There are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace. The Bible says, listen, the Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the west, nor the south. God can take a man from a dunghill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now Hallelujah. And Elijah told his servant, he said, check. And he came back. He said, there is nothing. He said, go and check again. And he said, I saw a cloud like the feast of a man. I pray in the name that is above all names, let there be the sound of abundance. I provoke abundance right now. I provoke abundance in the name of Jesus.
the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them it didn't say male and male it says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now i command your exodus right now for those trusting god for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the lord told elijah go to the brook cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water i command supply right now by the favor of the lord god of israel let there be supplies hallelujah i pray for you the bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country he said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed lift up those hands in the name of jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results hallelujah and he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it when balak told balaam to curse israel he said i have been commanded to bless this i have done and it cannot be reversed i declare in the name of the lord jesus christ may your hands be blessed Amen. scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore there must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names i command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm let there be restoration now hallelujah hallelujah the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you only with you your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked you see bomb blast everywhere there's nowhere that looks safe again the only place of safety is the name of the lord for the bible says it is a tower a strong tower i declare anyone marked for death here or any family marked for death either by witchcraft bomb blast assassins or any kind of political wickedness the blood of jesus separates you from the spirit of death you shall not die you shall not die not by accident not by bomb blast not by terrorism in the name of jesus the bible says as for me and my house i prayed for you now i pray for your house in the name that is above all name whatever has mocked the god of israel in your house we change that report right now whatever has mocked the god of israel sarah said those who laugh at me have now laughed with me i declare we change the story of your family and his mother named him jabez because she said i bore him in sorrow and jabez prayed and said oh that thou wouldest bless me any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today we change that name right now thank you jesus 
I pray for you. Right now, lift your hands. Let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Please lift your hands. Just, I just have one minute. There will be impartations right now. The anointing of the Spirit. All kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. Receive it. Prophetic anointings. Apostolic anointings. Healing anointings. Take it. Take it. Take it. Everywhere. Inside and outside. Entrepreneurship anointings. Receive it. Business ideas. Receive it. Let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now. Every dead prayer life in this place, I command it to come back alive. Every dead word life, I command it to come back alive now. Go and heal the sick. Go and cast out devils. I call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven. Go and represent the value system of heaven. Go and be a light. Change people's situations. Speak over their lives. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.